Hello. Today we're going to read a bilingual book. Bi means two. This book is written in both English and Spanish. And the title of this story is called Pollywog. Pollywog is a tree frog tadpole. And this Pollywog tadpole goes through changes. And the changes that he goes through starts with the letter M. Can you say metamorphosis? Metamorphosis. Butterflies go through metamorphosis, and so do tadpoles. So let's get ready for the book called Pollywog. For those who embrace new beginnings, Pollywog and Perch lived in a pond at the edge of the wood. I love our pond, Pollywog said to Perch. Perch was old and wise, and she knew it was time to tell her friends what happens to every tadpole. Pollywog, one day you will change and leave the pond. Pollywog laughed. No, I won't, she darted away. Perch is the name of that fish, fish because there is such a fish called a perch fish. Hide and seek was Pollywog's favorite game. She hid in the tall eel grass and she waited for Perch to find her. Look at her hiding. She has a long tail and two big eyes. Sometimes the frogs spoil their fun. Pesky frogs, grumbled Pollywog. Why won't they leave us alone? They like to play in the water with the Pollywogs, those silly frogs. And if you notice, these frogs have webbed feet. Webbed feet help a fish or Pollywog or frog swim faster. One day, Pollywog sprouted tiny legs. She did not like her new legs. She went to see Perch. What is wrong with me? Nothing, said Perch. You're just changing. My gills feel strange. Your lungs are growing. Soon you will breathe air and your gills will stop working. Where is air? It's above the pond. And look at Pollywog. Look, look at her two back hind legs. They're kind of neat looking. They're webbed feet, which help her swim a lot better. She still has that long tail, but her body is changing. What's happening to that tadpole? What is it like outside the pond? I've never been, said Perch. I don't want to leave. Everything changes, Pollywog. You will have a new life out there. You will see things I cannot see. You will do things I cannot do. Like breathe air? Yes. Will it hurt to breathe air? Perch sighed. She knew a lot of things, but she did not know everything. I do not know, said Perch. Look at Perch and look at Pollywog beside each other. One's a Perch fish. The other is Pollywog going through changes. I see her jumping legs. I see her long tail. Finally, the day came when Pollywog could barely breathe. Was it already time to go? Pollywog wasn't ready. She hid behind the weeds. Perch swam over. Come out, Pollywog. It is time to leave the pond. Pollywog tried to speak, but only bubbles came out. Your voice is already gone. You do not have much time, says Perch. Pollywog started to swim away. Then she looked back at Perch. Perch smiled and said, Do not be afraid, Pollywog. But Pollywog was afraid. She was afraid of what was beyond the pond, and she was afraid she would never see her friend Perch again. And look at her hiding, and look at the bubbles. And there's Perch behind her. Pollywog climbed toward the surface. Her gills did not work. Her lungs wanted air. A new world awaited her. A world with a moon and stars, rain, clouds, sunrises. Look at Pollywog. She's sitting on the lily pad. She's bringing in this new life. She's amazed at what she sees. Her life is quite different because before, remember, she lived only in water, but now she's on land. She's breathing air. She sees dragonflies, a world with new friends, 
new food. Before, she just ate algae and things in the water, but now she's got a sticky tongue and she's catching insects like bugs and bees and flies. And she's got strong back legs for jumping. Now she has front legs. And look at Polly Wog really carefully. She's missing something, something from behind. Her long tail has disappeared. She has become a frog now. She has new games to play. She can jump. She can leap. She can play with other frogs just like her. She's a tree frog now, but she's also an amphibian. And an amphibian lives in both land and water. Look how she jumps. Look how she can dive into the water with the other frogs. And when Pollywog saw Perch again, which she did see because when she went swimming, she was able to see her old friend Perch which made her very, very happy. She was a frog. She's underwater. She sees other pollywogs and other living creatures in the water and in the eelgrass, but she was very, very happy to see her old friend Perch. You were such good listeners. I need your help. There's a few questions and I need to make sure I know the answers. So I need you to help me with this. Now let me see, do you remember what Pollywog's friend's name was? Was it George? Was it Sam? What was the name of her friend? Help me with that one. What did you say? Did you say Perch? You are so right. Perch is her friend. Perch the fish, that's her friend. Hey, that was good. Let's try another one. Pollywog liked to play. Her favorite game. Hmm, what was her favorite game? Oh, I can't remember. What was her favorite game? What was that? Tell me that again. Was it, did you say hide and seek? Hey, that was really good. It is hide and seek. I'm, I like that. Now, let me see. There was another question I needed an answer for. It was, what happened to Pollywog? What happened to her body? She started to grow like feet, right? And what happened to that part in the back of her? That tail, what happened? What was that? Did you say it disappeared? You're right. And she became an animal that lived on both land and water. And what was that long word? Hmm, wasn't a reptile. What was that? Tell me that again. Did you just say amphibian? I think you did. You're so right, it is amphibian. You're such smarty britches. I'm so proud of you. She was an amphibian, an animal that lives on both land and water. Very, very good. Now, there was one other question. What do we call an animal that goes through these changes? That goes from looking like a tadpole and then ends up looking like a frog? Starts with the letter M. Hmm. What was that word? Uh, do you remember? Do you know what that word is? Hmm. I know what you're thinking. Did you say, did you say metamorphosis? You did say metamorphosis. I am so proud of you today. You were such great listeners. Metamorphosis, that's the change an animal or insects go through when they change from one thing to another. Wasn't this a great story? Pollywog. I look forward to seeing you again, and he thank you for helping me with those questions. I knew I could count on you. We'll see you the next time on Storytime.